Nargis Mohammadi is a woman, a human rights advocate, and a freedom fighter. Her brave struggle has come with tremendous personal cost. She's also been sentenced to 154 lashes. Ms. Mohammadi is still in prison as I speak. The new Peace Prize laureate is serving multiple sentences in Tehran's Evan prison. This message recorded before her incarceration. I hope one day to be able to tell you that execution have stopped in Iran and that women in my country have got their rights. Her husband watched the Nobel Prize announcement from his Paris home where he lives in exile. He hasn't seen his wife in 11 years. This Nobel Peace Prize will further Nargis' motivation. It will make her fearless. Ms. Mohammadi's two children haven't seen her for seven years and have been banned from contacting her. I'm very, very proud of my mum. She's worked half her life for this cause. Frankly, I think the Nobel Prize is not only for my mother, but for the entire Iranian people, especially for the women who fight for their rights every day. Norway's Nobel Committee sees it that way too. This year's Peace Prize also recognises the hundreds of thousands of Iranians who have demonstrated against the regime's crackdown on women. It hopes Iran will release Ms Mohammadi so she can attend the prize ceremony in December. But for now, that seems unlikely. Just this week in Tehran, a 16-year-old girl was allegedly beaten into a coma by Iran's morality police for not covering her head. Jenny Lavelle, ABC News.